listening to the Mid-Laugh Crisis, talking about anything and everything that may come up, including your mama. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> hey who brought Woody Woodpecker with us today? <laughs> oh, That's actually how you laugh on a normal basis. <laughs> it is not. <laughs> well, this is the Midlife Crisis Morning Show. Um, I'm Anthony. That's Scott over there. I like to call him Scott. His friends call him Scott. Pretty much answered anything. That's correct. Growing up, I answered the shithead, asshole. You still do. Yeah, well, usually. That's, that's, I always, I actually, until I was about 10, I thought my name was asshole. Yeah. Uh, the names just progressively got worse and worse. 11, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. My teachers used to call me shithead, too. I didn't really understand why. <laughs> that's just not right. <laughs> that's just not it right. Isn't. Well, we got a show here today, folks. Um, we actually have a special guest here, Scott. He is special. He is a very special boy. He is a very, very special, special boy. <laughs> very special boy. Um, if you guys saw my post yesterday, I told you who, he, who it was. Um, if you guys noticed, there's a, a black box there, right in the middle of me and Scott. So there's a, there's a reverse Oreo going on right now, I guess you can call it. <laughs> I know, that's, that's racist. All right. Well, um, well you're not really. Sure. <laughs> Wait, what was that? What were you going to say? It's more like a Hydrox, because you're not really, like, dark enough to be an Oreo. Yeah, that's true. That's true. All right, <laughs> well, um, Black Box, show yourself. Where is he? There oh he my is. God. It's Rappaport. That's the Rappaport. Bright and early in the morning. Bright and early in the morning. Oh, man. He's feeling What's it. up, kids? Anthony and Scott in the morning. Oh, my God. <laughs> Good. Where's Opie? Too Who invited much. Opie? Who invited Opie? <laughs> Who invited Richard Cunningham? What are you doing here? Anthony Scott and now Opie. So you guys can be Anthony and Opie with Scott, with Soap, with, o- with Dopey. Anthony and Dopey right. Scott. I'm Dopey. <laughs> well, we got Rappaport with here, folks. What's up, guys? Thanks for having me. With us here. Oh, no problem, dude. Thanks for coming. For those um, of you who don't know who he is. Yep, he has Hello? the uh, Hangout Conversation show. Thursday nights, right? At 8 o'clock? 9? 8? Yep. 9? Thursday nights, yeah. We had we had a half naked chick in, in, for art last week, and uh, no, she seemed like that. You know what? She she definitely was half naked. I I saw. I watched. And she was definitely I, I more, she was more than art. She was she was more than art. She had some uh, yeah had some really nice piercings and uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah yeah she, she was, was just as good painted as she did naked uh, without paint on her. Yeah, she was hot. She was hot. It, it, it kind of gets to the point where you don't even really see her. All you see is the, the art. I didn't even know what her head looked cool. like until I rewatched it. <laughs> She's like a spider. <laughs> I didn't uh, see her face. Her hair was kind of good. Her hair was all puffed up. She had some crazy yeah, hair. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, she's... No, she's cool. Yeah, she was cool. Paul was cool. Everything was cool. Paul, Paul was just that master ninja. He was just... You know what? Yeah, I, didn't, yeah, I didn't know where he was going off. with that. When he started, I thought he was making her a candy cane. I didn't know where he was going with that. I was like, what is he doing? <laughs> like, candy cane. It's, it's, like he just throws, it's like he just throws random designs on, on them, and it just comes out great. Yeah, it was, it was pretty I know. Uh, I mean, he, I mean, he did it so quickly. It was crazy that he, like, in two seconds, it felt like it was already done. It was, it was amazing. I couldn't believe it was done already. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I agree. Agreed. 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 So we got a couple of things that we like to talk about on a regular basis on the midlife crisis. Um, sure, Scott, sure. Some, some of those things are, uh, what, update your hate. Update um, your hate, celebrity in the news. What's, what's the fuck up? What's the um, fuck up? Yeah, you want to um, start with uh, celebrity in the news or? Sure. Or what? What's up? Well, uh, um, let's, let's start with Lilo. Lilo. You must Lilo. be talking about Lindsay Lohan. Yeah, she grew up on Long Island just like me. She did. She? That sucks. She so. grew up almost around the block <laughs> from where I live now. Wait, wait, you talking about Lilo, Lilo Multipass? Is that what you're talking about? 
<laughs> multipass. <laughs> I guess multi-pass? she might. She is from Long Island, after all. She might be a multipass girl. Multipass. That's a. <laughs> uh, what the hell's the name of that movie? It's like going to the movie theater, except. Oh. What movie. the hell's the name of the movie? I forgot the name of the movie. I can't believe it. Fifth, the Fifth Element. Yeah, Lilo. Multipass. That's what uh, it was. That's a, that movie. Do you think that movie's underrated or overrated? Um, overrated. I would. I'm gonna have to tell you. I enjoy the movie. Scott says overrated. I, I, I enjoy it. it. It may be. I think it's for me. It's just rated. Chris Tucker. Chris <laughs> I, Tucker was the I, best. I like it. I, Chris Tucker. When it comes on TV, I watch it. I have the DVD. I, I enjoy the movie. It's either you love it or you hate it. You have the DVD? You spent money on that? Or did, <laughs> yeah, somebody, no. or did somebody buy that for free for you? <laughs> no, no. That's actually something that... Um, that Why do you want to... That was my Chris Tucker. <laughs> <laughs> Mama! Mama! What do you Mama! mean? <laughs> he's got some good Michael Jackson dance moves. He, uh, he's all right. So and anyway, he's got Google Plus. What? He is on Google Plus. Why well, isn't he here? He's on the show. He's, God damn it. He's on Google Plus. Whatever his, that means. His image is on Google Plus. He, he has yeah, a, pre- yeah. a Google Plus presence. We'll his say assist, that. His assistant's on Google Plus. <laughs> That's right. And they're not doing a good job either. No, so tell, tell us about, about the... About, uh, Lindsay oh, well, Ho- Hohan. Hohan. Well, first of all, she looked outstanding. She put some weight back on. And uh, and that's a good thing because everything grew in the right places again. She did look decent. She looked good. Yep, she looked very good. Um, you know, I'll be honest. I didn't catch the entire show, but uh, for me, the the funniest, the first thing that I saw was hysterical when she's on the stage giving her her welcome speech, and she steps forward, and the alarms go off like <laughs> <she's>, <laughs> yeah, like she's stepping out with her. Uh, What's that thing called on her ankle? Uh, out of out of her uh, her her anklet range. Her an- yeah. ankle bracelet. Yeah. Ankle bracelet range. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. See, that's why we have Robin put on, because we don't know what the hell we're talking about. Same thing oh, right. that uh, Tracy. Jo- or what's his face? Tracy Jordan, or was it uh, was it the real life dude? Was Tracy Morgan have one? I don't know. I don't know. One of them had it on, I think. I know. Wait, Anthony. When we say Tracy Jordan, <laughs> you have to do his. I don't know if it's like, I don't know if it's. <laughs> You take your shirt off for Tracy J. Is that what it is? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me Tuesday is tomorrow. I'm going to place off my leg, Liz Lemon. Oh, man. <laughs> I can't Maybe. go nowhere. Oh, my God. Tracy Morgan's here. What the hell? Where is he? <laughs> I hear him awesome. in my ear. You know, I, I, I watched, um, I didn't watch the episode of SNL, but I did watch three clips uh, with, with her in it. And I gotta say, I really enjoyed the clip with the um, with the princesses, the Disney princesses. It was good. They um, yeah, they kind of did. Um, they had Jasmine, Snow White, Cinderella, um, a few of the other princesses. I don't remember the other ones. Snow White. Did I say Snow White? Whatever. Sleeping Beauty. Um, and they did kind of like a um, like a Housewives of Atlanta type type thing. Right. And it was really really funny. It was very well done. Like they were they were backbiting and talking about each other. Uh, behind their backs and things like that. It was really, really good. Did uh, did Jimmy Fallon end up making a guest appearance or no? Yeah, he did in the in the beginning. In the beginning, during her monologue, he he showed I up. I don't know why. Maybe I didn't. Maybe what I is the connection between Lindsay Lohan and Jimmy Fallon? Did they have a thing for you? Like, well, what? she was she was on his show the the previous night, and um, she asked him to be on the sh- on Saturday Night Live <laughs> with her. She pretty much begged him. It was really yeah. awkward, actually. It was really awkward. She was like. You know, if you could come on the show just for a minute, it would be great. And he was like, uh, well, what, what do you want me to do? Just, like, go to the camera and say <laughs> hi? You know, like, what do you – why am I coming on? It was, like, some dead silence for a minute. It was really weird. It was, uh, mm-hmm. And he was – I guess he came on. Yeah, he did. It was only for about 10 seconds. She and, um, was, you know, it's upstairs. The, the studios are, like, right, right, right. close away from each other and it would help her ratings. Mm-hmm. I don't know what, what I want to talk about, talk about more, the decline of SNL or the lack of a Lindsay Lohan. Can you name one Lindsay Lohan movie, adult movie, on the top of your head that you enjoyed? Or, or just name uh, one? Mean <laughs> the only one that comes to my, my mind is, is Mean Girls. That's about it. Yep, that's not really... Girls, that's that, that's not that's even her movie. movie. That's yeah, a Liz Lemon movie. It's a Liz Lemon movie, yeah. And, and it's more of a teeny bopper movie, which I actually enjoyed. I do like that movie. I watched that with the sound off. <laughs> the sound was on. It just was not from the TV. It's just not the same movie. 
It was a good movie. You know what? She's just ten times better with red hair. Yeah, she is. She looks. I mean, she looks um like used and washed up with blonde hair. I don't know. If yeah, that's, really. That's what about as a brunette? I don't remember yeah. her as a brunette. Yeah, she's done it. Anything that's with true. dark hair better is better than the, than the blonde hair. She mm -hmm. she does look. She looks haggy, haggy like a like a Long Island hag. Yeah, the fake blonde hair doesn't work. I mean, like if you're like Catherine Heigl and it's real, that's fine. But if it's yeah. fake, kind of crazy. Catherine Heigl. That's another one I watch with the sound off. Anything. From <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Life as we know it. Sound bank. off. Yes. Twenty Twenty Seven Justice. Sound off. Sound off. <laughs> Grey's Anatomy. Sound off. There's, like one, there's one movie, I don't know, earlier, like, there's a video clip, I don't know what it's from, but she's, like, literally wrestling with a guy in her bra, like a red bra. I don't even know what movie that is, though. God damn it, Rappaport. You know. tell us what movie that is you right now. Share that link. I'll have to go to IMDb to figure that crap out. Son of a B. Son of a B. Yeah, she is, uh, she's got a, a fantastic figure. She yeah, is, so uh, hopefully, um, hopefully this is a, a, a brand new start for her. Who knows? Who oh, right. knows? Yeah, well, we'll see, we'll see what happens. We'll see how bad she butchers uh, uh, the Elizabeth Taylor movie that she's making for Lifetime. Oh, Elizabeth Taylor movie. Yeah, uh, blah. Blah. Who's going to want to see wait, that? Say, 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 what are you talking about, Elizabeth Taylor movie, in Tracy Jordan's voice? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about, Elizabeth Taylor movie? Elizabeth Taylor's my auntie. That's my grandmother. <laughs> That's so good and bad at the same time. <laughs> so terrible. <laughs> so good. And great. I was looking at comments on the thread. So. No, that's cool. People, yeah, like, bro, one's watching, and I accidentally deleted like both comments. My bad. That's how tired I am. I went to delete one comment. I deleted her comment. Whoops, sorry, bro. And I was someone with a little spam thing, and I was like, uh. Stop deleting um, comments. Let's uh, let's. Let's oh, jump off Lindsay Lohan since she's been written probably all night. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of people, a lot of people jumping on her and off her. Let's, let's jump. On, <laughs> let's jump on another person who gets jumped on a lot too. Is uh, Kim let's, Kardashian? Yeah, you know, let's jump on another. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, but we're not the. You know, you gotta be uh, hung like a horse and and, uh, and, and uh, I think a black man, right, to to be with Kim Kardashian? I or guess is that so. I don't know. Who's with Lamar Odom? I'm just. Uh, oh but she yeah. She says to play basketball. That's all. You just have to be a professional athlete, and you're all in. God damn it, I think I missed my prime. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I do too. I'm about like three feet too short to be a professional athlete. Oh man, you guys, you guys are missing out. I'm almost like a pro, poker pro here. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm working on those eye-hand coordination. Anytime. Awesome. Anytime now, you're going to get drafted. That's why, yeah, I'm going to get drafted for a poker team so I can poke people, and I don't just mean... You know what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about Facebook here. Right. I think you know. I think I know what you're talking about there. You know what Matthew Rappaport's favorite song is? Poker, <laughs> uh, poker Face? Yeah. Uh, I think it's said Come On Eileen. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Come on, Eileen. All right. Tell us about Kim Kardashian. She's giving back, apparently, right? She's giving back, yeah. Well, she's been in our news a lot lately because she's, she's uh, getting sued or whatever. Her... Uh, her weight loss medicine pill powder nonsense that doesn't work, caffeine. Uh, but so we're going to talk about some good stuff about her. She, uh, she obviously made about 100000 in, in wedding gifts for her wedding. Uh, and instead of returning the gifts, she's going to double that, she's going to, and she's going to donate $200,000 uh, to a charity. She's going to double that, which is, uh, which is really nice. I'm sure the people that bought her the presents would like their presents back. But uh, yeah, right. you know, is what it is. She's gonna she's gonna double that and give two hundred thousand to charity, which is two hundred thousand. That was the biggest sham wedding thing in yeah, the world. I think so. Do you think uh, Do you think that she's just saying that and she's just giving everything she that she got? Yeah. No, I think she's she she may be giving everything back that she already got. She's you pulling a Zuckerberg, like, okay? Like she's like maybe maybe <laughs> right, but maybe maybe she's not doubling. You know what she got. Maybe she's just giving away what she got. And Maybe. saying that she's, um, who knows? Who knows with them? They seem to be in the news for scandalous crap anyways all the time. You just don't it, It's know. pretty what amazing, you? right? It's amazing how, like, you said that last name and how that, how that happens. And, like, if you saw them on the street without makeup and they were just hanging out, you might not even, like, notice them. Like, that's amazing. It's what's interesting. 
You know, a lot of people get pushed into the spotlight. They're hot, they're hot, they're hot. But I've been on set with actresses, and, like, when you're, like, next to them, they're just standing there with no makeup on. It's like, yeah. eh. And some of them, like, they're not, like, in your face on the screen. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, true. And I think the makeup does a lot to their skin. Like Kate Hudson? Mess them up. No, like, she was all right. Just a short little girl. Like, but in Kirsten Dunst, eh, those Julie Styles, no, I never liked her much anyway. But they're, like, no, I was either. right next to them, and they were, like, you know, they're, you know like, right. You just well, named three actresses that probably have a combined B cup for breasts. No. I, I'm not a, I, I don't like Kristen Dunst, though. I never did. No, nope, me neither. I think she was the worst I person. I never did. To, she should have never played uh, Mary Jane Watson in, in Spider-Man. Yeah, she was awesome in um, Interview with a Vampire, but that was it. She was a kid, yeah. She was, yeah. yeah, she was nine. So, so, so out of out of the people like you said, you were you were around some you know celebrity females or whatever. Who who uh, who impressed you? Like, oh wow, she's really. Oh, like, Julie really Julie really Roberts. Cool. Julie Roberts is really she's really attractive in her life, and 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 uh, let's see, Nicole Kimmons pretty tall. They're both tall. Mm. But like you know, it's it's hard to like find someone that's like crazy attractive. Actually, I did I did an episode of Gossip Girl, and the chick that plays the mother was on Melrose Place, and she's pretty attractive in her life. More attractive mm. than even Blake Lively, who like everyone seems to like. But she Blake Lively was just a, was in her bathrobe with no makeup, and she was just, like a regular chick. She could have been my cousin. Like I wasn't like it's not as hot. Like yeah. you know, it's, it ruins the fantasy. It's like all right. Yeah, some people just have natural beauty. I um. I was on a line uh, out in the Hamptons, well, Shelter Island, which is out that way, uh, in a deli. And I turn around, my wife looks at me, and she goes, look, look behind you. I turn around, and I'm looking at some girl's chest because she was taller than me. And awesome. while that looked really nice, I lift my head up, and it's, uh, it's the girl from Kill Bill. What's her name? Uh, oh, Uma uh, Thurman. Uma Thurman, Uma Thurman Uma. right? So I look at her face. And when I tell you this woman needed proactive, like you wouldn't believe, <laughs> I couldn't. I was like, no, you just ruined everything for me, all of it, downhill, gone. We're so, all human. Listen, we all crap. I mean, you gotta. That's we all poop. That's right. So, so disappointing, though. I was just you no. Know, but like I said, if if you didn't look up, you were you were in a good spot. It was golden. If you're about five eight, sold. Mm. Uma, yeah. Uma. Uma. But so, Julie, no good. so Julia Roberts and, and who else did you say? Julia Roberts and Nicole Kimmon in real life. They, don't forget when I saw them, they had full makeup. Those two, but like oh, okay. they were, but they were also like, like really, they were nice. They were friendly. They were. Ooh, I got one. Yeah, that I, that really brings your stock up when you're nice too. I've got two, two that I'd like to tell you guys about. Speaking of Julia Roberts, she was pretty good in, in Sea Biscuit. I thought she was good in that movie. Oh, she was. She's not in that movie. Yeah, she was. She was the horse. She is. Oh. No. No. I thought she was. Hey, in real life, in real life, her face is not as horse face as as it appears to be. No. There's two people that I think have horse faces. Her and Sarah Jessica Parker. Yeah, I don't. I think Sarah's way worse. I mean, I'll find a picture of her. She's a hag. (laughs) I, I I liked her back in the day when she was in L.A. Story. Oh. Oh. I liked her in, in Girls Just Want to Have Fun. I don't even remember that. <laughs> That's my wife's favorite movie. <laughs> it's freaking terrible. Uh, they, they, they they go on to like Star Search or like a show like that. You know, it's, it's terrible. Mm-hmm. But wait, I, I ran into um, Josh Brolin and and uh, Diane Lane in Central Park. Uh, they were just going for a walk in August, last August. They were just going for a walk probably around 7.30, you know, sun setting a little bit. But, it, you know, it's just bright till about 9 o'clock at that time of year. And I ran right into them, and I was like, oh, my God, that's freaking Diane Lane with no makeup on. And she's got to be, like, mid to late 40s now, I guess. Yeah, she's she, hot, though. She looked awesome. However, she was just wearing a pair of sweats and, like, like a baggy T-shirt. She was mm-hmm. so pretty. So pretty. And Josh Brolin, is, uh, he was scary because he had long hair at the time. I don't know why. He was scary, dude. But, uh, but yeah, Diane Lane, oh, my God. You know, she played Cherry Valens in, in The Outsiders. I remember her from Unfaithful. Oh, that was pretty cool. Under the Tuscan Sun, she was awesome. She was in a bra trying mm-hmm. to send off a bug on the, on the balcony. <laughs> it was so awesome. But, yeah, she was hot. And, and I saw uh, Beyonce front, first row. 
at a benefit concert, and uh, I've never seen a woman more flawless than that woman. Yeah, she's you know, not. And, and I'm talking about like her legs. Like there was no cottage cheese, nothing. You know, like no cellulite. It was just smooth. Yeah. You know. I guess if we go all that dancing and stuff, it definitely you know it works you out. I she'll, she'll probably she'll probably end up being like uh, Tina Turner when she gets older, just like great legs all her life. Oh yeah, Tina Turner. Yummy. I love Yummy. me. I let the I let the BB on Thunderdome with her. <laughs> all right. So. Wow, not to not to change the subject, but somebody that I deleted, I called spam, and and it, it he blocked me, and he was all like. Well, he he put up an article about this one of the tornadoes, and it's not even like I'm all for helping people. And it's terrible that all that stuff happened, but it's like when you put a blatant comment like you need to help these people. There's a tornado link. I'm I'm not saying that that's a negative thing, but it was like one of those things where it's like I'm tired. Also, I'm thinking like you know why don't you send me a private message? Why are you trying to like jump in? I mean, I, you know, I it's weird. It's a weird thing. Not to bring you guys down, but no, it's cool. No, it's totally cool. But he blocked me, dude. If you are watch, I mean, I, I don't know why he blocked me. I'm all. I opened the link. I just, I, I just deleted the comment because I thought like, well, it's not appropriate for a comedy show. Right, I mean, right, right, right. We're all like, everything that happened with the tornado was terrible. The, the fact that there are crazy ninety tornadoes every year. I don't know how that crap. The weather's been really weird. Overall. Very weird. Yeah. Very, very weird. Especially up here. Well, I don't know about everywhere, everywhere else. I just can only speak for the weather where we're at. We're all basically in the same area, except Scott. He's in sunny Florida. I am. I am. Uh, on, I am on location right now, in Grandma and Grandpa's house. Whatever. Yep, whatever. doing a little visiting for the grandmas for the, well, my mom's 65th birthday. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go play some golf at uh got tea time at 1:30 today. Nice. It's about 75 degrees and just perfect. Oh, the is, is there any wind? It's a little, a little bit of wind, a little bit of wind. Yesterday it was, uh, it stormed a little bit in the early going, and it was quite windy. Right now, it's, uh, the palm trees are a little, blowing a little bit, hmm. but uh, it's perfect. It, it, it doesn't get better than that. Did you tell your tiger woods out right, there? I'm gonna get it to. What's that? I said, are you tiger tiger woods out there? There's tiger woods out there. Tiger woods yeah. out there. Are you on that golf course? When you're out there, there's no Scott. You're not tiger woods. Oh no, no. When I go out there, I'm, I'm Rory. Not Rory. Rory, Rory McIlroy. Tiger, however, Tiger. Speaking of golf, Tiger. They they had a tournament here in uh, in Florida, Jupiter, uh, this weekend, and Tiger was down. He was he was like minus two or something like that going into Sunday. He wasn't even close to the cut. It was like minus ten was the leader. He came back and came in second place. He went minus eight for the day on Sunday, which is amazing. And and came in second. <laughs> he came in second, but you know what? Minus eight for one day. If he could just put a couple of rounds together, is uh, right. he's in good shape. But my father seems to think he's never going to win again. Nah, he's had his time. Whatever. He's still uh, making gazillions. Yeah, I'd like to see him win though, because it's it, well, it's good for the sport, and it's uh, it would be nice to see him break all the records. Yeah. Well, I've got something called oh, the celebrity. This is Celebrity Scramble. I was going to say, oh, other, than, other than VD. <laughs> Whoa! That's Celebrity Scramble. Dude, you should stop seeing too many girls on the internet, you know what I'm saying, dude? Yeah, you're right. You're right. Or, or keep seeing them, but use condoms. All right, so you put you put up a picture. Matthew Hold and I will try to figure out who it is without looking. I'm going to post a link for, for the people to check it out as well. Um, yeah, if you, if you guys can do it in your... You're watching the mid-laugh cross. <laughs> Right. All right. Can you guess who that is? Uh, uh, I'm going to say, I'll let Matthew go first, and then I'll go. It looks like John Voight. I, right. would, I would say that's uh, uh, Christopher Walken. No, Larry, very, Larry King. Larry King. Two Larry very King. good guesses, but Matt is right. Sweet. Oh. Nice. How did you even guess that, dude? Because he, Angelina Jolie, right there, the father. Yeah, it is the father. How about this, this lady? This is, uh, go ahead, Matt. I have no idea. At first, I was like, her eyes look Angelina Jolie like, but, uh, man, I don't. Is it Uma Thurm? No, Uma Thurm? Okay, I'm going to say it's Taylor Swift. Nope. It is Sharon Stone. What? She looks. That, 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 that doesn't even look like Sharon Stone. Like, yeah, she's, she's not aging gracefully. 
No, but that picture is just not a good picture. This one's hard. Matt Lauer? Not... I'm going to say Scott Kahn. Uh, James Kahn's son. Oh. Magneto. It's Magneto. Oh, I didn't even know what that guy's name was. Fast <laughs> Me neither. Yeah, you know what, Andy? You should choose people that, that uh, people who don't really know that well. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait. Famous people. Anthony, his name was, wait, go back to that guy. <laughs> his name is... Fastbender. Is Michael Assbender? Yeah. <laughs> With an F. We'll call him Assbender. Michael F. F that Assbender. What? <laughs> F that awesome. Assbender. F that Ass. This one, this one was easy. And it Josie is. Houston. All right, we'll go yeah. with that. She, she, she's got the puss and boot eyes there. She's another one that's not aging gracefully. Oh, yeah. See? I got one. See? We got a dog barking at her. I'm not going to go through all of them because it's 934 of these. I uh, go is. ahead. I, I think I know who that is. Will you go, Matt? The, what no, you don't. That you don't know. Because you didn't know who that it was. Him. That's freaking Thor, dude. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Is it? No, it's not. Yeah, it's Thor. Maybe it's it is. Thor. All right, last one. However, I thought it was, uh, I, I didn't think it was, uh, oh, who's this? This is... Oh, uh, the chick from Grey's Anatomy, right? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah, I'll go with that. Damn, you, Matt is good. Nice. Sandra, oh, yeah. <laughs> Sandra, All oh, right. no, wait, give me one more, give me one more. <coughs> one more? I, okay, I one, one more try, one we'll more go, try. We'll go one more. This one's easy. Oh, it's Weird Al. Yeah. It's got to be Weird Al, it's his hair. Yep. Bam. <laughs> I know, you're jealous, Scott. I know. He's so got all that hair in you. right now. It's not fair that he has the name Yank in his last name, and I don't even have any <laughs> hair. I think I'm going to change my name to, like, Weird Scott. No, you're already just Scott. I am just Scott. Just yeah. Scott enough is being weird, you know? Yeah, yes, that is. <laughs> dog thinks so, too. The dog, dog thinks so. Agreed oh. by the dog. What's the fuck up? Well, you tell us. People just keep fucking up nowadays. They and, don't uh, fuck up. Google fucked up. Hopefully, I don't get my on-air privileges taken away from, from covering this story. But I ain't even, I'm, not, I'm just a messenger. I didn't cover the story. Just a messenger. Um, apparently, a, there's a gentleman that's suing Google for their Google Maps um, pictures. Because apparently, if you look up his address and do a street view, there he will be urinating in public. <laughs> That's so, awesome. So uh, he's suing, I'm not sure for how much. I read the article last night, but it, I don't remember it. But I, I do know that he's suing Google for them to take it down. Apparently, it's not even taken down yet. So, What's the, Do you have the address? Uh, it didn't have the address on there. What's hysterical about it is, is like this guy, he, he tried to find himself. And nobody else is looking for him. Mm -hmm. And it's not Google's fault that the satellite took a picture of him while he was taking a leak, but that is hysterical. Well, they don't have a satellite that takes a picture. They have a car that has a 360-degree camera on top of the car. They do every block? They, they drive down, and they, I don't know what the, what the speed of the camera is, but that's what that's they That's amazing, because they, uh, cause, you know, I think like every, everywhere in the United States is like pretty much on, on Google Maps. That's... That's insane. Yeah, basically. I thought it was a satellite. That's pretty cool. Nope. This is I actually... Hold on. Let me see. I want to be the guy who uh, who drives that car. Yeah, I mean, that has to be fun, right? This is the car right here. See how it has the cameras on top? Oh, yeah. Although they've modified them. This, might, this may be an older, an older vehicle. Because I've I've seen them like they they look like smart cars and they all yeah they're all it's probably a little smaller now too yeah know. this guy looks like um like Google just hooked the camera up to their car and slapped a magnetic yeah. Google plate on it on the side totally totally but that's what it is yeah that's pretty cool but that's funny that that's this guy's suing really I, I mean why why not I mean I'm I'm pretty sure he'll win because there has to be a privacy issue you know oh yeah. You could sue anywhere. We were talking about suing, uh, not us personally suing somebody, but somebody sued, uh, this is funny, my dad lives in a, my parents live in a facility in, in Florida, in Boynton Beach, and this guy who actually died 
was a sick man, right? And he had a heart attack. He had his heart fixed or whatever. And he had to do exercise. So he went into the exercise room. Mm-hmm. And they, they tell him to keep the, the, the treadmill on, like, the lowest settings. The guy put it on the highest settings, wiped out, busted his <coughs> ass, and he sued. He sued the place he lives in, in the facility he lives in, for anyone. Now, because he turned it all the way up to high, he's suing because them. He put it on high, busted his ass, and he's suing them. How? how does, and he, no, he won. He did, he didn't sue. Oh, he, he won. Them. He won. He won. Well, I mean, why you know. would you get to win when you didn't do anything wrong? <laughs> I don't. Did he, why did he would you bring up Florida and not talk about the pool house? I'm going to be in the pool house. I'm going to be all over <laughs> that place. <laughs> I'm gonna go on a treadmill and I'm gonna turn it all the way up so I can see how fast I can fall. Oh my God, Jerry Seinfeld just turned into Adam Sandler. He seconds. did. <laughs> yeah, he did. I don't oh, know. It's a weird mix. A carrot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold in here. I'm gonna <laughs> sue all of you people. I sounds like Adam Sandler. Oh, it sounds like Tobo <laughs> Willie. I'm coming out of the booth. booth. <laughs> the state oh. charge is a dollar twenty-five. Dollar twenty-five, Willie? Isn't that what it costs to get a blowjob from your mother? Whoa! Oh. Really, you're an original <laughs> bastard. I'm coming out of the booth. <laughs> Adam Sandler is another. You know, he used to. His movies progressively get worse. I think. Like this yeah. is like Jack and Jill. Like what the hell? That Who are you kind of kid? He took it's a like character. Anything. No, but he took a character where he was like, that character you just did. Oh, I have a high voice. Now I'm now a girl. And then McNugget got this. Yeah. He, he made that, he, he's been doing that voice for so many years, and he finally decided to make it into something. And it was, you know, I watched it. I, I, I don't know how, but I uh, made it through the whole movie. Does Katie Holmes at least look uh, nice? Yes, she does, actually. She does look nice. She doesn't have a That's huge it. part, but, you know, he's his, she's his wife. But uh, she, you know, shouldn't talk much. But she Al Pacino, nice. really? Al Pacino, really? I, is are things that bad? <laughs> are things that well? You know what though? Adam Sandler gets some big names. I mean, look, Jack, Jack Nichols, Nicholson, Nicholas, whatever his name is. No, you got it right. Jack there. Nicholson. Well, well, that that movie was great. Oh, I love Anger Management. Yeah, it's pretty good. I love to, especially compared to Jack and Jill, it's it's a masterpiece. Oh yeah, but you know what? The, <laughs> the one that he just made, what was it called? Just go with it. Was actually decent. Was it? With, uh, with who, Jennifer who, who Aniston. Who was that? Jennifer oh, Aniston. Oh, okay, okay, okay. He he borrows her kids to to uh, impress, uh, not to impress. He's, he tells a girl that he has kids and she loves the kids, so he uses Jennifer Aniston's kids. Ah, it's a good movie. It's a good movie. Uh, Dave Matthews is in it. He plays a token gay guy. Of course. Always. In Adam Sandler's movie, I don't understand that. He plays a really good gay guy, though. <laughs> Maybe he likes both teams. <laughs> he Maybe he does. Who knows? Maybe he does. He does it well. He's a he's a, he's a double agent. Chuck and Larry was good. That was good. I mean, I mean Chuck no, and Larry was all right. It nothing's as good as Billy Madison, Happy Gilmore, Waterboy, the early movies. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, like nothing beats th- those movies. I think Anger Management was probably the, the, the last good one. Well, you know what I like, too? I like Click. Yeah. Oh, I love Click. Click, Click was all right. Click Big Daddy's right. okay. Big Daddy's in there, too, man. Yeah, Big Daddy's good, too. Yeah, but that, that was in his younger days, too. That's when like, he was funny. Yeah, then he started running out of crap to Grown say. Grown Ups? Man, I didn't watch all that, but... I would have liked to see more... It uh, was, it was, grown, grown Ups was just them dissing each other. Yeah, Grown Ups was, was... That's what was, made it funny to me. I give Grown Ups a 6 on a 1 to 10. Yeah, I, I feel like they just had a good time being together on the set and just snapping on each other. I'll watch that movie whenever it's on, if there's nothing else on. Because it's just, it, there's, some, there's some good potty humor in it. Yeah. Yeah, the, 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 the best part to me that I remember is when... Uh, um, 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 what's, the, what's, what's the dude's name? Um, James. Kevin, um, Kevin, Kevin James. Kevin, yeah, my dad Kevin James. Here. When when yeah he top again no first that was just top again but when um <laughs> when when Kevin James shakes Chris Rock's hand and he goes oh it's like shaking an eagle it's like shaking yeah. an eagle's claw or something like that it's like shaking hands with an eagle but it's, it's like hilarious. when you see these movies like you see the Ocean's Eleven movies first one's good but you see the like the, that all these stars get together and get that paid to hang out I mean 
Well, well I, I hope that I hope that the Avengers movie isn't just guys hanging out because that's uh, I'm looking forward to that. And there's a some big stars in that movie. I can't wait, man. I'm so now, excited. So what's what in your opinion? What what's gonna be a better the better superhero movie? Avengers, Dark Knight Rises, or you, or the new Spider Man? Which one out of the three of those are you most looking forward to? I'm most looking forward to the Avengers. Yeah, even more than Dark Knight Rises. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Because it seems like the 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 Dark Knight stuff is stuck. It's yeah, it's starting to it's starting to fade away a little bit. I don't know. Um, like, which way could they? What, what way could they go now? I mean, they're just, they're just going into the, you know, just the fight the villains. It's gonna be you know, Bane. Different villain every Bane time. Is the villain, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, and, and Batman's supposed to die in this one too, because that's what happened in the comics, right? Oh, spoiler alert! Sorry, Man, sorry, know. spoiler. No, that's the Statue of Limitations. It's been in comics for oh. years. Well, if they do that, the Batman. None of these superheroes ever die for good. Well, I mean, they'll they'll pick up another Batman or something. Maybe they'll make a Nightwing. I don't know who who knows. Who cares? Nightwing. I don't know if people would see that. Actually, I did a web series for Nightwing. I was only <laughs> in it for like five seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Independently. Nice. Nightwing, Nightwing was cool was awesome. when the, when the, when the Teen Titans came out. That was awesome. The comics mm-hmm. with Nightwing. Yeah, but it's like <laughs> Nightwing. You're like that's Robin though. That's Robin. That's not Nightwing. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, look at us having a nerd moment. <laughs> we are having a nerd moment. I, I will tell you, though, uh, I, I'm not too excited about the new Spider-Man. I don't really understand what, why Tobey Maguire is not Spider-Man. He is awesome. And I don't well, like they're, they're, they're going more, more dark. And they're, yeah. they're follow, I think they're following the um, Amazing Spider-Man comics or something like that. It's a different um, set of Spider-Man comics. Yeah. But the reason why Tobey's not in it is because they all wanted, it was way cheaper to do it this way. They all wanted it with too much money. That's what it was. Yeah. Well, he's a bit, he, you know, he, he was a, he, I mean, I, I, I see Peter Parker, and that's who I see, I see Tobey Maguire. Mm-hmm. That, that he is Peter Parker. I don't you know. Jake, Jake Gyllenhaal was going to play him, too. He was going to be I'm Spider-Man as well. so glad he didn't. No, I, I think, I think either one of them are good, him or Tobey Maguire, because Jake Gyllenhaal has, like, those sad eyes, too. Just like Jake Maguire. Gyllenhaal and Aquaman, too? <laughs> that's my, that's my reference. Aquaman 2, was he? No, 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 that was an entourage. That's an entourage storyline. Oh. He's, 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 he's Aquaman, but J.T. Yeah. plays him in the second one. Yeah, right, 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 right. Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely we were just right. talking about that. I was telling my parents about how how all those guys were older, and then Turtle was like 16 when he started on the show. Mm-hmm. And he had like a full beard and stuff. <laughs> yeah, right. he, he got with Metal Soprano, too, in real life. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, he did. Is he still, are they still together? Yeah, no, 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 nothing like that ever lasts. Damn, she's hot. She's hot. You have to think so, though. So you, that's a lot. That's a lot to handle though. For so, for how long can you handle something like that? That's it. I love you, ladies, but there's, you know, there's high maintenance, you know. Yeah, I guess so. So I Scott, like yes, you you uh purchased something right that you want to show and tell. Oh yeah, absolutely. Well, maybe, maybe not really show, but. Well, I could show it. Uh, we could try to try it. Um, I'll show you. So, I've been looking into this. Projectors for the iPhone. Mm-hmm. Okay? Uh, this is where the, the, the light comes out. Mm. And it has a volume control on it, so it has a speaker. And I bought this at Brookstone. It plugs in USB to charge. It also acts as a battery, so if your phone's dying... And you don't want to use a projector. You could actually use this to charge your phone as well while you're out. Yeah, and Matt, Matt, Matt might need one of those, right? Yeah, Matt totally needs one of those. I do. I borrowed Scott's Mophie when the New York City Health Photo Walk. I was. Yep. Yeah, I just I took my, my my Mophie. I just took it off. Um, you have any extra ones you don't need? I need one. <laughs> Hell no. You know what? I I don't want to break this, so I'm not going to keep it on all the time. But I'll I'll tell you this. I I used it last night. We 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 set it up on a shelf. And we watched uh, we watched Bones on Netflix on the iPhone, on the closet, because where I'm visiting, the TV I think it's like a like a, a 14 inch TV in in the guest room looking at it maybe 12 inch TV. Um, Is it black and white? You know what? It just might be. No, no, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. It's 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 it says color. Um, it have UHF. It has a picture of a color symbol, which means that it's really old. Yeah. But wait, I'm gonna try. I'll try to show you guys if I could. You could do. Uh, you could use do slideshows with photos. 
uh, which is what I'll do. I'll put on, I'll put some photos on. Let's turn this puppy on. Use use the wall behind you. I'm gonna use the wall behind me. It's a good idea. Do you, do you do you know if um if it works for iPod too or is it just iPhone? It use iPod. It has to be new ones. iPod touches. Right. And, the uh, uh, fourth, the fourth generation. The, the four. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And the four and a half. Not the four and a half. Yeah. Not, not the four S. Not the four S. It works yeah, stands for sucker. <laughs> it works on the new iPhone and it works on the iPhone four as well. Uh, mm. And if you pay the forty dollars for the plan, for the protection plan, which covers everything, three years, forty dollars, mm. and if they come out with a new iPhone and you get it, and the old case doesn't fit it, you can exchange it for a new version, no charge. Well, that's cool. How sick is that? That's actually pretty neat. Yes. Now. There you go. Look at that. I don't know if you can see what. What we're looking at here now, how how big can you actually make it, or is just like distance? Fifty-two feet, I think they said. Oh, okay. It's pretty. I mean, how? Yeah, the further away you go, the bigger it gets. Um, and you can you can take that and plug it into some speakers yeah, and have a pretty good movie experience. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. <clears throat> and last night we used just a speaker from this thing. Now this is a picture of. Well, let's see. Let's see if we get here. Here's a video of, of my son. Let's see if I'll show. Oh, the freaking iPhone crashed. So do you have a stand? It doesn't come with a stand. That's that is the one, the one minus to it. If there are any minuses. Minus one. Right. Minus Mi one. Minus one. There's no plus ones on this one. So I, I mean, I guess you could take like a deck of cards and sit it up or something. Yeah, we put it on a shelf last night. So mm. yeah, check this out. See if you can see around, yeah. Mm -hmm. See, that's no, a video. That's, that's <laughs> dancing. Better get used to those bars, kid. What? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I was just going to say that. <laughs> I was just going to say that. Uh -oh. I say that to him all the time. That's a Back to the Future reference, just in case you guys didn't know at home. Oh, they Jail better not remake Bird. that movie, I swear to God. I'll kill someone. Jailbird. Wait, they're not, they're not talking about remaking it, are they? I think they, they're talking about remaking everything. That's, I mean, the the whole, uh, not to cut into your, your crib time here, but, man, they got to make money in everything. Titanic's got to come out in 3D, really? Uh, yeah, I mean, right. I mean, what? I mean, like, you're going to fast forward the whole movie to the ship being in front of your face. That's the only 3D. And it's fake D. It's not even 3D. Right. It's like... They're painting I, I, it over. Yeah. I hate, I hate, um, I hate post- 3D. I think it looks stupid. I think it looks dumb. Right. I think it's when they when, when they right when they actually film in 3D, that's that's when you get the uh, the real the 3D experience. experience. Yeah. Yeah. When yeah. It's a post. I can't stand it. It's unfortunate that they uh that they had to like remake the Karate Kid. Really? Oh uh, yeah, it was bad. I sat through it for free, but it was still it was. I it mean, was a, it had. It, had it was moments. supposed to be a love story. That's why the kid has to be like over 16. Like. Yeah. You know, well, it became more about bullying. A bully, more. I mean, the first one had bullying in it, but yeah. And was, this one didn't I mean, know Elizabeth right. Shue. Come on. <laughs> Back to the no, Future, Karate, Karate Kid's one of my favorite movies. Next to Back yeah. to the Future, both Elizabeth Shue. Although she was not, that was another controversy. Elizabeth Shue was not in the first movie. She replaced the other sure. chick, which I thought yep. was always weird. I was like, I when I was like, when I was a kid, I was like, why is Elizabeth Shue, was she in the first one? I had to like think about it before IMDb. That came out before IMDb. And I was like, what's going on with that? What's the really? deal with that? Why yeah, they... was Elizabeth Shue in the second movie and she wasn't in the first? I know. They left her in 1985, but that's... <laughs> <laughs> what's going on? Yeah, and then, and then they, they, like, they reenacted the whole, that whole last scene. Yep. Now, to, the, to you know, the, story, the story behind this is, is Elizabeth Shue wasn't supposed to be in the second movie. The girl, who unfortunately her career ended after the first movie, her mother got sick yeah. and she had to go home. She had to go back to wherever she was from and take care of her mother. She had to go she, back. She, she, she had to go back to 1955. She, she was in 85 and she couldn't go back to the fit. <laughs> but it's a weird thing in Back to the Future, right? That, Eric, was, that happened with Shu and also Eric Stoltz was the original. Yup, Eric Fly. Stoltz. They actually used a clip. It's Eric Stoltz from behind with a voiceover. I'll say. If Wait, anybody uh, knows Eric Stoltz from behind, it's you, Scott. I do. He looks so good. Well, if you saw the mask, you could only really look at his ass. What? Oh, my God. <laughs> that movie gave me nightmares Fair as a point. kid. 
gave me nightmares, Rocky Dennis. Which one? That. Which movie? He's like, I didn't see it. It's not The Mask, but there's a movie called Mask, Eric Stoltz and Cher, where he's ah, got with the, the crazy with face. The big yeah. face. Yeah. Oh, that's and that's a crazy. true story. True Ugh. story. That was... Ugh. You know, it's funny, though. The Cher kind of looks like Mask now. But I'm I, I actually saw somebody that looks like Mask. And it was so I actually weird. Thought, I, was like... I actually thought Rocky Dennis was in Burlesque, but it was Cher. <laughs> waka, 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 waka. <laughs> if I could right, turn so back that joke, no. Yeah, if right. If I could turn I... back that joke. <laughs> Yikes! Oh yeah. Is it time for update your hate, or we already did that? It, no, it's time for update your hate. We haven't even All done right. that yet. I've got. I'm skipping uh, around just for you. I've got a good update your hate. Now I've got. I've All got right. two of them. Go and, for and it. They, I, I picked these two out of the out of the bunch because they kind of relate to each other. Now, were these emailed or, or through the through wall? Or were these they these are through the website. Okay. These are through the website. It says, I hate when domestic violence wakes me up in the middle of the night. I and mean, I hate that, too, because when I have to beat my bitch in the middle of the night, it really pisses me off. <laughs> <laughs> really don't like having a knock her around in the middle of the night. Right. It really don't. That'll wake me up, too. How do you feel too. about that? Yeah, that's, feel not, about that? <laughs> that's not something you want to be doing. You want Come to mess on, guys. with that. Save your domestic violence for the daytime. Throw us all bones. Seriously. <laughs> here's, one that, here's one that, that kind of sounds like that one. Yeah. I hate picking up the weaves and broken stilettos on my lawn after the domestic dispute. What? Where, where do they <laughs> live? Jesus. That might, be, that might be Calvin writing in, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, wow. It's unbelievable. He, he lives in a scary place, apparently. He doesn't have any stairs. He doesn't have any stairs, that's right. <laughs> he has to climb in through a rope, like a fire exit. A fire escape, great. <laughs> and that's not good, you know, he's, a, he's, he's it's not good for a, a man of, of, uh, to be a late at night clown of the fire escape, I'm just saying. No, yeah, no, that does not get, look good. Did you know what, though? Nobody calls the cops on him because they all have to climb in through ropes. So right. it's, so like, <laughs> it's like Batman and Robin climbed up the building yeah. to get into the house. Right, and they're, and they're like Funny. having conversations while they're climbing up. Yeah, we're talking about Cal Vin, who is actually the, the Google Hangout uh, record holder for the longest uh, Hangout, right? Yeah. Isn't hours, Calvin the dude... 70, 70 days? Oh, isn't Calvin the dude that literally can work from his office and never get yeah. fired? And yeah. Hang, yeah. Out, hang out from his office yeah. and never do any work? Yes, yeah. uh, we call him... You know how Howard Stern has uh, Angry Black? We have the Whisper in Black. <laughs> because cause he doesn't talk. He, Whispers. He says, hey guys, guys, I really can't talk. Yeah. Yeah, and actually and actually right on the bottom of the yeah. screen it says at work can't talk. He'll take he has a microphone on his earphones, so he'll be like, Guys, guys, today I had to climb in through my window to get into my house, but I left the window locked so I couldn't fucking get home. So he goes <laughs> back to the office. <laughs> they have better no, internet there anyways. Yeah, oh yeah, his internet at home is terrible. But I think he's jacking it off his neighbor. Or is that you? That's not me. No, that's not you. Somebody's jacking the internet off the neighbor. Which is <laughs> everyone does awesome. that. Awesome. It's all password pops up. You gotta, you gotta protect yourself. I told my dad to get a password. He doesn't have one. Uh, those are the, those are the. Tell him the things. password is nipples. The password is vagina. Uh oh. The, you know. He's never gonna get that one, by the way. He's never gonna get that. <laughs> Speaking of vagina, actually, last night my mom, my mom wanted to show us a video, a video that uh, you could put your name into, and, it, and it's 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 actually, uh, I guess like a, a, a feminine product, uh, and it like sings to you, and it, it'll input your name. So my mom put Kim in, and she thought it was really cute because she likes the guy's voice who's singing it. It's a website, uh, and so we tried to put vagina, and it wouldn't say it. I, I put vagina, and it wouldn't say it. We put Peppy, you wouldn't say it. So it's like really racist. She touched my Peppy. I put Shaniqua, and it wouldn't say it. Like it's a it's a racist program. I just wanted to throw that out there. Because vagina. Okay. Uh, any more update your hates? <laughs> no, you got you got any? You got any, Matt? I hate when Scott uh -huh. talks about nothing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I feel like I feel like any time I think about update your hates, I think about Google Plus and like. The, the community on it, but it's like 
Go for it. I don't know. We 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 did that in our first episode. We I know. I, yeah, I, he, you guys. <laughs> I was watching. You guys were one of mine about the entitlement, but um, <laughs> I just hate when people <laughs> flat out lie to me. Like, what the hell? Just mm -hmm. flat out. Like flat out. I hate it when people flat out lie to you, and like they think that you're gonna believe them. Like you, like people don't give enough people credit for being smart. I think people think they can get away with a lot. That that part right. bothers me. And uh, and also, you know, the weird thing about Google Plus is, or, or the internet, or text messaging, is that, like, people don't understand intonation or percept, and they perceive stuff wrong. And a lot of mm -hmm. times, like, like you could type hi, and people could take, like, hi a million ways when they should just, it's just hi. Like, right. I think just people read into stuff too much. That's that, that right. I, hate, I hate people reading into stuff too much. How's that? There you go. Update my hate. Oh, yeah, yeah, I hate that. I hate that as well. It's usually sens very sensitive people and and people that are self conscious about something that just read in stuff and just people some, that sometimes, love sometimes you just gotta yeah. And sometimes you you just have to take things for what they are, you know. I, I just love. I I love how I get into arguments with people on text message because they think I'm saying it like a certain way, and I'm <laughs> like, dude, can you take my dog out? What do you mean, take my dog out? What? I don't you didn't even say please. Dude, I, what? <laughs> I hate you! I hate you! I hate you! Hey, Ooh, I bought damn. you. I bought you eggs today at the grocery store. What do you mean you bought me eggs today at the grocery store? What are you saying? I can't buy my own eggs? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Right. That kind of reminds me of the whole like when you're on a date with a girl. It's like if you if you do something, if you hold the door open for them, sometimes they like it, or sometimes they're like, "Well, you don't think I can get my own door?" Like, right. What the hell? Right. Next time, like you can't win. Next time you're on a date, Catch 22. What, what, what I want you to do is, if you're on a date with a girl and you're about to open a door, text her before you get out of the car and say, is it okay, <laughs> is it okay if okay? I open the door? What do you mean, is it okay? <laughs> Why would you ask me if it's okay to open the door? You guys should have just done it. <laughs> there you go. It's true. It's true. You don't think you can win. You don't think, what is that? You don't really think you can win, do you? What was that from? Anyway. That was, that was, uh. I don't know. Rocky? Was that was that Rocky? No, Rocky was. You can't win. That one, yeah, yeah. That's probably one of those movies. Rocky. <laughs> that that killed him when she said that. The way he looked at her was like, oh, he just stabbed me in the heart. Oh wait, they, wait uh, you can't mention Rocky with the uh, at the end of Rocky Four, where he's like, if we could do it, and you could Rocky. do it, then we all oh, can do it. That was yeah. The best. <laughs> yeah. I have to say to my kid at home, who should be sleeping? I love you. Because you played by like five different actors in the next five yeah, movies. Yeah. And one of them was actually his son, his real son. To the, to the kid from Heroes, I want to tell you. <laughs> oh, he was like, perfect. To the kid he from Heroes. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> he was perfect because he had the little lip thing. His lip yeah, yeah, yeah. down, just like Sly. That, that kid from Heroes, you think he's ever going to work? Like, like everyone on Heroes, pretty much their career is like... Yeah. Not Siler. Siler. Siler was, uh, you know, Spock. okay. Yeah, he was Spock, but and, 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 then, and, and then he came big... out. Sorry. What? Oh, you that, didn't know Spock that, was gay. That, that crazy, that crazy looking guy is on a uh, Grim now. Oh, is he? Yeah, the the real buggy looking guy, and he's actually a watchmaker, which is weird because Siler was the watchmaker. <laughs> Siler, Skyler. Skyler. So, oh, all right. Um, what else? What else we got? Appetizer. Appetizer. Well, we, we could we, talk about the program that we that we the app that we downloaded that we hadn't used on the last episode. Yeah, it's exactly. called because you, had, you were having you were having issues. Yes, it was it was called I could not find Anthony on Voxer. That's right. Hey Matt, have you ever heard of Voxer? Um, there is there is I know there's an app box something where it gives you more space, which I think is a scam, but that's not what we're talking about. No, no, no. It's, there's it's, there's uh, actually oh, an app called Box. Oh, yeah, I have that, too. I don't even know that's, what it does. Right. That's Box.net. It's, box it's a walkie-talkie app. Oh, I've heard of that, yeah, yeah. Oh, Box, so, like, yeah. Yeah, so you can press and hold, and I can be like, yo, Anthony, you're a douche. But does he have to have the app, too? Yeah. Oh, that's kind of annoying. And now he yeah. just got it Yeah. See. on his end. See how fast that was? Oh, so if he has the app, even if it's not open, he'll get that. Right. Yep. It has to be open. Oh, okay, cool. Yep. Wait, Anthony, yeah. put your put your phone up to the speaker so I can say it right away, and it'll, and it'll go right to it. Watch how fast. Uh, this is where, amazing. Where, where, where the hell's the microphone on the Mac? I don't know. That was is loud. It, where is you... it a free app? Yeah, it's free. Where, any, cool. Anybody know where the, where the mic is on the app? 
I mean, on the Mac. Oh, I do have Voxer. Wow. Where the heck is it? I don't know, but yeah, my, uh, my video it. crashed. I didn't use it, though. Your video crashed? Oh, I didn't sign up. You know, Anthony, you're still a douche. <laughs> See how fast you that goes? It? You heard it, right? Absolutely. So do you, like, connect all your friends to it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. It, it, you know that that, uh, that site called FB, you know, I'm not saying, runs with Facebook? Um, it, uh, Blue it'll balls? Find, it'll find all your, uh, yeah, it'll find all your, your friends on, on that site, which is pretty cool. Do you guys see me right now? Because I lost... Yeah, oh, cool. So, that, so wait, so if, if that chick that you wanted to talk to happens to have the app, then you could just, like, walkie-talk her and it's not you weird. Like, I'm just using an app. Exactly. There you exactly. Go. That's you exactly could stalk her ass. Wow. But it's actually pretty cool. Me, me and Scott, that's how we talk to each other because we don't feel like picking up the phone. Yeah, that really reminds good. me. Oh, I was going to say, because it says it's looking for all my friends in my address book. I don't know if I read something today about like uh, all mobile apps on the iPhone and Android basically save all your contact information. That was an article today somewhere. But oh, really? Not that, I mean, people could forget about it, but I don't think it's a big deal. And, the only thing I, I don't... I do want to say that app works on Android and iOS. Cool. I, the only thing I don't know is, is where does it store the information in your phone? Like, how much space does it take up? It's the only thing I don't know uh, that don't I'm know. interested I, to figure out. I usually delete the conversations anyways. Apparently, you could send pictures, too, through it. Yeah, and you can send text. Yeah, let's see. I'm yeah, and you can send text. Yeah, well, you can send text, right? <laughs> that was right before it. <laughs> Ah, somebody else got Voxer. Yes, you can. Yeah, I had it. I just never used it, and there's a crap load of people in here. This is awesome. This is awesome. This is awesome. Ooh. Give it a hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. God. That movie was awesome. Awesome. Anyways. So, wait, when you get, so when you get send one to me, because I want to see what it says. Does it say who it is that's saying it? Let's yeah, see, I just sent you a I just sent you a text through there. See if I can find you. Oh, so you do a text too? Yeah. So I how do you get, how do you find sh- somebody? Did that pop up? I saw it light up, but I didn't hear it. Well, you, you have to go to it to listen to it. Oh. What'd you do? How so did you find not, him? He found me. <laughs> oh, right there. Was. Oh, you have to be you have to be his friend. Sorry. Oh, forget it. I thought it was one of the, okay. It's still cool, but yeah, I thought it was one of those things where like your phone just like set it, like like it didn't. You didn't no, open it up would, and look for it. If it's awful. open, it just does it. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Uh, but watch this right here. This would it be terrible if I said this to Anthony? Ready? Yo, dude, I just got crabs from some girl. I don't even know who she is. Shit. Like, and then that just goes on, like while you're like at dinner with like your boss or something. It would be worse if you said that girl that they used to go out with that you hooked uh-huh. me up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I found out I had crabs. Yo, I just <laughs> slept with the girl that you told me to hang out with, and she gave me crabs. Yo, I just slept with the girl that you told me to hang out with, and she gave me crabs. <laughs> Which means you have crabs now, too. God damn <laughs> or, or, or it means I gave it to her. <laughs> right. You can't, you dude, can't catch crabs I, twice. Dude, I'm allergic to shellfish. <laughs> Anyways, we digress. So oh, that's that's my appetizer. That and, and that's mine too, which is cool. Yeah. And now, uh, Mr. Rappaport has it. Oh, I pressure. So, is appetizer different than a, than a mobile game, or that that still counts? Um, it could be anything. Yeah. I mean, any, any app. I mean, there's a couple. I mean, I'm gonna talk about one, but HBO Go, Max Go. I don't use it that much, but I'm actually excited. Time Warner Kill Vision finally, because for the longest time, HBO Go and Max Go. <laughs> We couldn't use it, so now I can use it to watch uh, HBO shows that are old as hell, like The Wire, which I have to watch because mm-hmm. The Wire is supposed to be the best show ever to be on TV. So yeah, says. I'm I'm on the, the the like the last episode of the second season and because so I, is it worth watching. It is, it is. I, I I actually have HBO Go as well. I do too, but and I don't I, watch it. Anymore. I love it, dude. Cool, but I want to talk about Scramble with. All right, so the with friends. There you go. The With Friends, and there's a bunch of them, but they, they're going nuts with With Friends, and I think they're going to pretty much take every game that ever existed. So Scramble With Friends, and there was, a, there was an, a couple apps for Scramble, but Scramble With Friends is, is uh, it ain't bad. Like, you literally just play against somebody, and you play, it's like Boggle. It's basically Boggle. Mm, okay. So I enjoy it. Man. Scramble. Scramble With Friends. Scramble. I'm with you. 
I'm waiting for Battleship with friends. That'll probably be nice. But, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It'll be. I, I probably wouldn't be called Battleship, but it'll be some type of. Uh, I'd like idea. to do. Uh, you know, I play Conquer, which it used to be Risk. Um, but now it's uh now it's called Conquer, I think. Mm-hmm. It's not as good as Risk, but it's kind of fun if you could risk with friends. Hmm. Risk with friends. Risk with friends. We used to get crazy over that over Risk, and it was just us roll and die. That was all it was moving around. Yeah, roll and die. I, I lo- that's all. Yeah, that's all it is. is. You roll the die and you get lucky. But it's strategy. You gotta figure out which way you want to go. You know, <laughs> if you should enter the United States through, uh, you know, can I South see your bus pass, please? South America. Or, yeah. <laughs> Show me paper. Very nice. Very so, nice. So what else you guys got got, got on the show? What are the segments? Um, uh, you know, you know what? We've we've actually been been long winded this episode. That's so, my fault. Uh, That's because of the guys, No, no, no. It's it's the cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's very cool. Do we have we anything talk, else? I mean, we talk about. I mean, we usually talk about uh, games and movies and TV, moments, movies, news. I did catch. Uh, I'm finally caught up on Walking Dead. I don't know if you guys watched that, but you know what? I'm not. Mo- I'm not caught up on it. My mom right. turned it on last I night. Missed, I, oh, I missed the last. I missed yesterday. The no. last five minutes, I saw who died, and oh, I was so good. mad because I didn't watch the whole freaking episode. You know, I taped it. Mom. I it. Mom. Killed me. Ma. That's like Ma. how Ma. you just basically told Anthony someone died. Good job, and anyone else out? Oh, there. sorry, Anthony. Well, you know what? I'm 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 in the I'm in the Walking Dead um huddle, which is called oh, Messenger now. So they've already pretty much killed it. Well, yeah. they. All, all they said was that a kid died or something like that. I don't know. Uh, so. no, uh, we no. Go. It wasn't Sorry. a kid, but okay. There was a, the kid. The kid. I'll, I'll get this episode. Carl is plays a big part of this episode, but but that's we'll about see. all I'm gonna say about that. I uh, cannot see it. But yeah, there are people that complain about Walking Dead that it's too slow or not enough zombies getting killed. But honestly, the show is literally about this people being put in a situation where what was immoral before might not be immoral anymore. So that's what's interesting right. about. I think. It's a, it's a right, good it's show. Just, it's, it's, a just good it's just survival. It's just survival. It's the eye of the time. I knew he was going to see that. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Of course you were. <laughs> All right, so um, you want to you wanna call that a show, guys? What's Absolutely. It was a good show. Yeah, we want to thank uh, Robert Long, Port for joining Long us winded. today. Absolutely. Long Peace winded. to the Middle East. <laughs> <laughs> you want you want to you want to plug your show, rap? Yeah, hang on conversations for the, Thursday for the, nights for the for the two for the two people. Sorry, uh, bro, I was watching. Two people watching. A couple people were watching. <laughs> At least I didn't see on your thread. That's the thing that I hope one day we can get all the threads united. So I so we can see. Actually, yeah, it would be yeah. cool if we could see it in here, so we don't have to go look up the stream. That'd be cool. Yeah, exactly. I would love that. I do like but, uh, uh, that that new website that features all the the live hangouts, which is pretty cool. Uh, oh yeah, what's the name of that? Oh website? yeah, no, no, you're on it. You're on it too. G plus on there. Oh yeah, McDermott's site. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You can find both of our shows there. Yeah, it's fantastic. Hangout conversations. Uh, Thursday I'm nights. Peter McDermott, and that's the news to me. <laughs> was that and that's, that's Peter McDermott? That was my Peter McDermott. I guess mixed with Chevy Chase. Wait, is, yeah, I was gonna say, that's, Chevy, <laughs> that's Chevy Chase's line, I think, right? That's yeah, his line, yeah, yeah. So, no, well, it was Chevy Chase, I'm Chevy Chase, and you're not. Something like that, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's the news to me, was one of the other guys. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember that's what that is. That's news to me. If, we had, if, like, if someone offered you a million dollars to come up with a cash base of every SNL broadcaster, it'd be like... It would be bracking my brain, trying to think. I mean, I can, I can remember most of Dennis Miller... Uh, Tina Fey, Nealon, Kevin Nealon, Kevin Nealon, uh, Norm Macdonald. Oh yeah, Norm. 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 Forgot about Norm. Yeah, it must. <laughs> I think the world forgot about. <laughs> yeah. Well, not Adam <laughs> Sandler. He usually makes uh, appearances in his shitty movies. Yeah, all of them. Mm. All right, so <laughs> let's, let's let's go. Yeah, but it's crazy eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say I was Thanks. happy about Pashemi that he that he got he broke out and. Now Buscemi has a whole TV show and crap. So. Oh, that uh, show is yeah. great too. Have you watched those on baseball? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I love, love seeing those. Adam Sandler makes a lot of those guys. You know, made a lot of those guys famous. Yeah. Oh well, whatever. All right. Oh. Yeah, but G Plus so, on air and uh, yeah, hangout conversations week Thursdays and then I'm doing a plus team and show possibly tonight, which is pop culture with Jane Ellen and then 
I'm going to try to do Pusketeers with Peter McDermott, but I'm trying to do a bunch of shows. Support the shows. Do more shows. Get paid a lot, of, a lot of plus ones. <laughs> we get paid you can, by our plus ones. You can hang out and watch it at the same time. What's the deal with that? Why? <laughs> Who are these people? And don't forget <laughs> to update your hate. Make sure you send in your hates. Email. Write them on our wall. Right. You can email us at, G- at uh, midlifecrisis at gmail.com. Or Why? leave them on our wall. Why would you not? And with that, I say Hold on, hold on, hold on. Who likes the midlife crisis? Your mama. <laughs>